speak now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Morning Glory. My name is Eddie Law. <clears throat> and you've never seen this before, just literally whatever's on my brain, first thing in the morning, just fucking throw it out into the world of the internet. So no, it's not a religious show whatsoever. If you're looking for that, Joel Olstey's probably not awake yet. Probably got all his whores still around his room and shit. Uh, too much crack, night four, heroin, all that shit. Allegedly. I don't know the guy. I don't really give a fuck. Anyway, good morning again. <clears throat> And uh, usually, of course, this show is usually MMA related because that's really like the one thing I, you know, I uh, follow the most. And this is a real quick side note on basketball. Uh, Oklahoma City blowing out the Warriors last night, um, which I thought was great. Uh, it, it's nice to see a competitive series instead of uh, you know the Gold, Golden State getting a carpet to the, to the finals the way the the Cavaliers seem to, to get, um, or to, to, to the way the, the people still think the Cavaliers are gonna get uh, to the finals, but. Uh, Draymond Green nutshotting uh, Steven Adams was pretty bad. I mean, that was pretty fucking obvious. And, and Draymond Green tried to play it off like it wasn't. So that's some bullshit. Um, if you haven't noticed, Draymond Green's a dirty son of a bitch. He is. You just can't. You know, I mean, he just on the, one of the more lovable teams in, in the in the league. And let's talk about why the Warriors are, have such a have such a new bandwagon, like one of the largest bandwagons I think I've ever seen. And that includes with the Patriots, Seahawks, everybody. Okay. Because Golden State hasn't won shit in forever. Imagine if the Phoenix Suns were that, were, were gonna, you know, had won a title like that. The, the Suns would be the darlings of the NBA too. Because they haven't won shit. So, um, but Dre, believe me, if Draymond Green was on the, on the Pistons, if Draymond Green was on another team, he'd be the most hated motherfucker in the league. Please believe that, all right? You ever, you know, don't let your friends lie to you. Say, don't know LeBron was to be the most hated. No, Draymond Green was the most hated. Okay? The reason people don't hate him. Right now, it's because they're winning. Okay, if they if they don't make it past the Western Conference Finals, please believe Draymond Green's gonna be on the list. Draymond Green's gonna be on the list of people that get uh, that, that get shit on by by the media and by the fans. So, yeah, just watch. Um, if they would do win, it won't matter. Uh, he'll still be loved because he's a winner. So it, it is what it is. I mean, shit, Michael Jordan was a co- complete dickhead apparently, a complete asshole while he was playing. Then Price still is, but I uh, no don't give a fuck. He was winning. So anyway. Um, so yesterday, I think it was yesterday or Saturday, I sent out a tweet, I think it was yesterday or morning, I sent out a tweet that said that, uh, that I was just basically sick of MMA media, you know, writers, quote unquote writers, calling themselves journalists, and I've been saying this for like over a couple years now, maybe it was longer than that, but, but it's funny, um, because I've actually gotten, I've gotten some, you know, some, some, you know, frowny faces, I'll put it that way. From like you know, from some people in the media on Twitter and shit, and you know, the funny thing is they make my, they make my point for me. I was on Reddit this morning, um, and uh, I was scrolling down shit, looking, you know, I was looking around, whatever. And there was one po- uh, post that caught my eye. It said MMA Fighting's uh, front page is all Connor after his little interview with ESPN. If you, and they put up a picture. I actually tweeted out this morning, um, and they put up a picture, uh, a screen cap of, of MMA Fighting's website. From right after the the uh, the interview, and it's like it's it, it's almost like they all fucking wrote a quote unquote article off every fucking line from that interview. Like every top story was him, was Connor. That's literally it. Um, it's uh, and a lot of it probably or not a lot of it. Some of it's probably the Connor effect, but it's hilarious that some of these guys want to call themselves journalists, but all they do is write articles off of other media work. You know what I mean, you literally could eliminate that entire that entire you know front page of Connor stories just by posting the video. Social media made these new wannabe journalists. That's right, Mike. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. You know what I mean? And look, even me, I actually have a degree in broadcast journalism. I went to school for this shit. I was actually I actually worked at a newspaper for a while. Okay, and uh, and, and and no, don't let people lie to you. And not that they could. Journalism does not make any money. All right, journalists make zero money. They really do. Uh, especially with this shift now where you go from YouTubers to online only. I did that too. I went to the online thing. Um, and it went okay. The problem is you get basically get paid for clicks. So that's the reason why you get all these sensationalized bullshit stories that they try to sell you, right? So, but even me with a, with a, with a degree, you've never not once heard me call myself a journalist on any shows that I've done ever. I, I am not a journalist. Even though I have a degree that I've done the job, as far as this stuff goes, I am not a journalist. I mean, if I guess an original story, I find some shit out, I write up a whole story, I investigate shit, I actually go out, you know, I actually do my job and investigate, <laughs> okay, or journalists actually do their job and investigate, 
then I'd be a journalist. But I'm not, okay? Because I'm not gonna sit on my couch at home and be like, oh shit, caught an interview, I better get my laptop. And I'm sitting there with fucking, you know, Lucky Charms and shit. <laughs> that was actually unintentional, still. Uh, I was sitting there, you know, sitting there with a bowl of Lucky Charms, my you know, legs crossed and shit on the couch, just waiting for the for that, that, that sweet nectar of Conor McGregor words. Shut the fuck up. That's some bullshit, all right? Uh, it's so irritating. But, but Mike, you're right. It, it's, this, it's this new social media world where everyone can be a fucking, you know, quote-unquote journalist now, or a reporter, or whatever. And, uh, and someone on that, on that, it's, it's like, go check out that, that post. It's on our, it's our Reddit, but it's like r slash MMA. And uh, the comments are great, because I, I, I finally see I'm not the only one that feels the same way. You know what I mean? I'm not the only one that feels that way. Like so many people on there go, yeah, they also write articles off of RMMA too. Like, really, they do. A lot of these websites will go to Reddit on the MMA section and actually write stories of a shit that I see on there. Or they'll write stories of a shit on the underground. It's so crazy. But you know, at the same time, um, it's also a very young, uh, um, I guess, branch of sports journalism. I guess I don't know. I think ESPN has ruined it all, but. Uh, social media definitely um, has a big part of it, and I and, and I, I'm at this point where I'm like, do I you know, do I keep pointing it out, pointing it out, and pointing it out, and pointing it out until maybe one day, you know, enough people start bitching about it, enough people start pointing it out that you know these writers are forced to actually do real work, or do I just accept that that's the new media? You know what I mean? And that really is a fucking question. Like, it really is a thing that I wonder. Like, should I just accept this bullshit now? Now, mind you, I don't watch any mainstream shit. I watch, like, I don't watch CNN. Um, unless it's, like, a huge story and they have, you know, fucking every angle covered. I don't watch Fox Sports ever. Um, although they do have some of the hottest anchor women, like, ever. All right, Megan Kelly, maybe now, but Megan Kelly a few years ago was smoking hot. She still is pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. Um... But, uh, uh, you know, I don't even watch ESPN that much anymore. I've tried to watch Fox Sports 1, but they're kind of awful too. So, you know, I kind of just get my shit off, off online or whatever and, and go to multiple sources. You can't just go to one. That's why I can't stand people that only watch Fox, watch Fox News or only watch MSNBC and all that shit. So, but, um, anyway, but it was nice to see a lot of people actually agree with me on, on, on Reddit and, and agree with me on Twitter, in fact. Uh, that, that tweet got retweeted a few times and they got, it got liked a whole bunch. It was good. So, um, it was liked by a lot of guys that do what I do. The, 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 the uh, podcasts and the, uh, and they have their own page and shit. None of them claim to be journalists. None of them. You know what I mean? Um, we're literally all just fans that go a little farther or a little further in what we do with the, you know, with this kind of stuff with the sport. You know what I mean? I could easily, there's been times where I'm so tired, just like, from like my actual like real life and and uh, you know training you know and all the shit that I do. Um, oh shit, that's fucked up. This is legit like a truck just stopped. I don't even think the guy's in it. Oh, he is. He's just broken down. Fuck. I can't help you, dude. But you should fucking turn your hazards on. Anyway. Um. Ah. Anyway. Uh, um. Yeah, so none of us like claim to be it, you know. So it's kind of crazy. But apparently, if you're under a, a giant website, we're not giant, a bit one of the bigger MMA websites, such as you know, Fighting Junkie, all those, uh, which makes good just two. There's really no other one, um, unless you count the underground. But uh, maybe maybe Sure Dog, not as big as it used to be. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's it, I don't know. To me, it's discouraging for the future of the coverage of the sport. You know, and so it almost makes you chew, root for the Hawanis, almost. You know what I mean? Because as much access as he's literally, you know, used to be gifted by the UFC, now that he doesn't have it, he's actually doing work. You know what I mean, I can't even hate on him anymore. Um, I'm actually kind of on the side of that bullshit with Fox, with Fox Sports. And um, after that bullshit with Fox Sports, I'm actually kind of on the side about it. Uh, but. I just like that he's finally, like, you know, fucking gotten his balls put together, and he's actually done some real shit, so, uh, I can't hate on him for that at all, um, but all the other guys, like, you'll get Raymondi doing, like, a, like a, like a, like a, 
like a what's it called like a decent article every once in a while like a real fucking article every once in a while most of the time it'll just be shit like yesterday where he's like i'm covering the interview that you can watch yourself on espn or on youtube in fact i found it on youtube so um i just didn't watch it i have say I, I have it pulled up on my, on my laptop and watch when i get to work but um and then i'll tweet about it and we'll probably talk about it in the afternoon dumb but from what i gather from the tweets it was dog shit like he didn't really say shit you know what i mean um so uh yeah that's where we're at um you know what made me happy though what made me pretty happy was uh, seeing that nate diaz might be the reason that fight doesn't go down um not because I, not, and i don't think it's because you know he thinks it's stupid he'll fight him but because i think nate diaz asked for you know real money you know, because Connor wants is, you know, whatever millions and millions. I bet you Nate Diaz is like, hey, I beat your million dollar boy. You better pay me, motherfucker, you know? So, uh, I'd like to think that it's because, you know, he asked for money. Uh, but the byproduct of that is going to be that the fight don't go down. Cause, you know, nobody wants to see that fight. Come on. Nobody wants to see that fight. McGregor full camp, talking all that shit, you know, full belly, but eating steaks all week and shit gets fucking beat down you know uh, he basically gave Nate Diaz his best shot and then gets beat down and then gets choked out against a guy with no camp whatsoever like a few workouts just to you know just to get warmed up and and that's it you know what do you think a full camp Nate Diaz is going to do to Conor McGregor you know what I mean so I don't want to see that fight at all I didn't want to see it to begin with but I definitely don't want to see it now you know and uh I don't. Want, I definitely want to see the rematch, but I want to see Conor McGregor fucking defend his belt for once. Let's get that fight. Let's get Jose Aldo or Frankie Edgar against against Conor. The winner of that fight. You know, but of course they're not going to do that because um, all the casual fans, all they remember is is Conor getting beat, and they want to see the bullshit. McNugget doesn't deserve, deserve that fight. He doesn't deserve the Nate Diaz fight at all. Um, in fact, McNugget should be fucking stripped. I mean, I honestly think he should have been stripped a while ago. Like, how how long, how many like how long are you gonna go without defending your belt before they strip you? This is it's bullshit. So, anyway, uh, what up, Fang? Damn nerd, look at you, fucker. You're up awake <laughs> and shit. Uh, I'm just on my way to work, my friend. Um, anyway, but uh, yeah. What the fuck? No. Anyway, um. Yeah, it's all that happened this morning. Uh, yeah, I talked about the Warriors, right? That was awesome. Oh, thanks, since you're on here. How'd you like that? OKC taking down the Warriors of 2-1. Um, now, I know I was at home. I get that part. Uh, but that's a pretty big win. And they could pull off game four in OKC, which I think they will. Um, I think you're going to get a big game from the Warriors, but I think OKC is going to be able to do some shit and, and uh, get a 3-1 to one lead. And all they got to do is get one of those games in Golden State. They already got one. They just got to get one more, and that's it. It's game time for Golden State. And, and uh, finally, the bandwagon will get a little lighter, at least. Okay, see, he's hungry. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, they're hungry and pissed. Not to mention, I think Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook understand that uh, that this might be their last chance at, at a ring together and to have like a team the way they do now. Wow, this guy just wants to get hit by a car. Didn't even fucking look. Dumbass. Anyway, all right, fellas, I got to run. Um, you guys all have a wonderful day, wonderful afternoon, wonderful evening. This will be up on YouTube soon. I will tweet out the link. Also, I'm working from home. I'm home from work. God damn, man. You are one of the hardest working motherfuckers ever. <sighs> Not because of, cause of, cause of you know, what you do, but because you, know, you work the hardest schedules, man. That shit's, uh, people underestimate that. People think it's easy. It's not. I've had that overnight schedule of blows. That's why I'm very thankful for where I'm at now. Or for the schedule I got now. Anyway, you guys all have a wonderful day, a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful evening, depending on where you are. We'll have this on YouTube. This will be on YouTube very soon. And I'll tweet it out in case you miss any of the show. Um, all right. So, Fang, thanks for watching. Mike, uh, Andrew, everybody else. You guys have a wonderful day. And I will catch you guys in the next one probably this afternoon. All right. See ya.